So as the leading Kubeflow users have reported, versioning of your ML steps enables for faster iteration and exploration. This enables you to quickly evaluate, debug, and, and improve your models. Let's take a quick look here at um, oh, how this is impacted. For some reason, doesn't want to let me go forward. There we go. This particular model, this is an example of a, um, of a uh, model that is, uh, you can run in a tutorial. This is for the Kaggle Titanic example, which is a machine learning model that predicts who will survive the Titanic shipwreck. And before this CUJ with Rock and Kale, it might take you 24 steps to build this model, potentially hundreds of hours in the first iteration, hundreds of hours in the second iteration, and really involve having a data scientist, um, data engineers, ML engineers, and DevOps people. Once you build your code, you need to pass it off to an ML engineer that knows about how do I create a Docker container and run that in Kubernetes, as well as be able to run a pipelines DSL. Rock and Kale simplify all this, take the time down from hundreds of hours to tens of hours and allow the data scientists basically to be able to run these, these workflows uh, right from the Jupyter notebook. And um, I believe with that, this will kind of show you what the difference of where we're going right before you'd write your ml code you'd write some docker containers write some dsl code compile it upload it and then run your pipeline now you write your code you tag it yourself and then you with a click of a button you can run your pipeline 